She was described as bright and beautiful by her family 24 hours ago. And noticeably, they used the past tense to express those heartbreaking words. This afternoon came confirmation that hope had indeed been extinguished. On Wednesday evening, detectives investigating the disappearance of Sarah Everard discovered a body secreted in Woodland in Kent. The body has now been recovered and a formal identification procedure has been undertaken. I can now confirm that it is the body of Sarah Everard. Clearly, Sarah's family have been updated with this most distressing news. And I just want to pause for a moment and say that my thoughts and prayers and those of the entire organisation remain with her and with them at this awful time. Today, the search to establish what happened spread further as officers searched the area near a disused garage in Dover. But much of the focus remains on Ashford and an investigation which is being investigated in itself. Police watchdog the IOPC is now examining the early days of the inquiry and whether officers responded appropriately when an allegation of indecent exposure was made, for which the man being held is also the suspect. The incident is alleged to have happened at a fast food restaurant in South London, three days before Sarah went missing. It's 48 hours on from those first discoveries here in Ashford, but there are now questions about the initial stages of this investigation and even what was happening in the days before Sarah Everard went missing. Five issues related to the overall investigation have now been referred to the police watchdog. The first relates to the conduct of the officer in custody. The second is in relation to the indecent exposure allegation. A third in how two colleagues dealt with that alleged incident. Another referral relates to the actions of police in the initial days after Sarah Everard was reported missing. The watchdog will also examine the incident in which the suspect sustained a head injury while alone in custody. He has since returned from hospital. As members of a diving unit were again deployed here today, Scotland Yard stressed that specialist officers will support Sarah Everard's family throughout this investigation and in the difficult weeks and months that will now follow. Julian, terrible news for Sarah's family and friends. What happens next with the police investigation? Sean, the questioning of that suspect continues in London. There'll need to be a charging decision this evening or over the weekend, whether to charge him, release him on bail, or to take no further action. Here, though, so many people have been bringing flowers today. They're not allowed to come to where we are, but they leave them at the cordon, and then police officers carefully place them down here. That assistant commissioner, as well, may well have been talking about safety on the streets of London, but I think the pain of what Sarah Everard went through is resonating on all streets across the country.